NCAA runner-up Sammy Sasso, ranked number four in the country, as he collides against Graham Rooks. Yeah, Sammy Sasso, he's had, uh, you know, such a good career, and he has uh, been really close to winning it all, came down the final seconds, came close to getting a takedown against O'Connor a couple of years ago in the NCAA Finals, but nothing short of the top of the podium is where Sammy Sasso wants to be. Graham Rooks, a couple of close matches, 6-3, 3-1 last year uh, against Sasso. It's given him some problems, but uh, Sasso, a special wrestler, face of the program, and um, one of the captains for the Ohio State Buckeyes. For Sammy Sasso, Big Ten finalist, the Big Ten champion in 2021, NCAA qualifier, finished second at the NCAA championships in 2021, finished fifth and, last year. And there is Sasso, that is Sammy Sasso. He gets in the leg, he sees the, the, the head close to the knee, gets that slide through cradle on, looking for a pin right here, right out of the gate. So Sammy Sasso being very aggressive in the early going in this first period. Grand Rooks, the two-time NCAA qualifier looking to battle here, but Sammy Sasso tripped all over him. Yeah, Graham trying to get his arm through. Sasso making room for that, that shoulder to come down, trying to adjust. He's making room. Now he'd like to hook it up right here. There's, and the, there's fall. the pin. My goodness, Sammy Sasso looking mightily impressive. That is his eighth pin of the season. He takes his record to 14 and 3, and that was clinical life for Sammy Sasso, the redshirt senior from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Yeah, vintage Sasso there. Brooks gets in on the leg, but right here, slides through, locks up the cradle, drives him over, adjusts, and then the fall. That is a way to begin the Big Ten Conference schedule for Sammy Sasso, proving he's a bona fide force at 149. Let's turn our attention to 174 pounds. What a matchup we have here between the senior Ethan Smith and DJ Washington, the junior who only has one blemish of his resume thus far here in 2022 and 2023. This will be a war. This is one all wrestling fans look forward to. The caliber of wrestlers Smith and Washington going Thank after it. Looking forward to this matchup. DJ Washington qualified for the NCAA championships. He is now campaigning here at 174 compared to that of 184. And already a nice man return there by DJ Washington on EJ, on Ethan Smith. And now the challenge brick has been thrown. Ray Angel Escobedo and company. Ethan Smith, 12 and 4 this control. season, five major decisions, two tech balls, no looking for his 90th career win for the Buckeyes. Won the Michigan State Open with a 5 and 0 record. He's a four-time NCAA national qualifier, Center. Big Ten runner-up in 2020-2021. So there's Angel. He threw the brick here.
coaching staff, Angel Escobedo and CJ Red, they look to be bewildered by the fact that they didn't give the two points to DJ Washington. So no takedown and um, they got out of bounds with uh, no score and so here we go again. Ethan Smith, the four-time NCAA National Qualifier, Big Ten runner-up in 2021. And now he gets two points, finished third last season in the Big Ten Championships. Great execution by Smith there with his dump. He got in on, lowered his level, got in the single leg and finished it really nicely. DJ Washington, the redshirt junior from Portage, Indiana. Just one loss this season. And you wonder what that plays into the psyche of D.J. Washington, the fact that he did not get the points as he thought he so rightly deserved. Green, your face, me. Head up, head up. When get set. Taking a look at some of the action here, T.J. Hold set, Green. Red cover legal. Yeah, he's probably thinking, are you kidding me? Why was replay instituted in the first place? But here we go now in the first period, a 2 nothing lead for Ethan Smith. He is on top of DJ Washington. The only loss coming for DJ Washington was to Isaiah Lou Allen. That was back on December 18th, under a minute to go here in this first period. Ohio State on top of Indiana, 17 to six. There it is, now you gotta laugh, get a wrist now. Now this is the, uh, where Ethan Smith is really tough is when he gets the momentum going his way. It's always, he's never going to uh, run out of steam. He has a shape, he can, can go as long as it takes. I'm doing a nice job on top. And uh, DJ Washington, Dropping back down from 184 to a better weight for him. Um, had a, has Stay had a, a, a great start uh, of the year, but right now, look at that inside wrist control, the spiral ride by uh, Smith. Stretching DJ out there. Really workmanlike by Smith. Ethan Smith is one of those stalwarts, those constant in the lighters for Tom Ryan and the Buckeyes alongside Caleb Romero. So you look at 174, you look at 184. Those two weights have been dominating with the Buckeyes for Ethan Smith and also Caleb Romero. Two guys who both you and I enjoy watching wrestle. So a two to nothing advantage for Ethan Smith, the four-time NCAA national qualifier taking on DJ Washington, dropping down here to 174 this season. Let's see if he's going to be able to get and secure the two points. And he gets them. Does DJ Washington, we are even at two apiece here in the early part of the second period. Really impressed with DJ Washington there. Great response. Getting that two, it wasn't easy. Didn't get it called early. Came all the way around, followed Smith. And the, uh, the hand was still inside the line and the two points. Angel has to be really happy with the way uh, DJ Washington fights back. Well, as they say, especially in this Big Ten Conference, continue to wrestle until you hear the whistle. That's exactly what D.J. Washington did. Still green. One red. One and a point going to Ethan Smith. Riding time is in his favor as well. A minute 37 for the redshirt senior and Ethan Smith. I found it to be hilarious during our meeting with Tom Ryan, you went up to both Ethan Smith and Caleb Romero saying, hey guys, during the Big Ten Championships in Lincoln, Nebraska, saying, I've enjoyed watching you wrestle, and they both told you, oh, we'll be back this season, yeah. and here they are. Yeah, there's six, there are six seniors, and four of them, uh, you know, are in their sixth year, they're back for that extra. Sammy Sasso and Huffman um, are listed as seniors, but they actually have, because of COVID, they have another year, they've both said already, they're gonna come back. I mean, if, if the fans are wanting to know, hey, Sasso and Hoffman, they're planning to come back. And so out of the six seniors, there are four actually uh, that uh, are in their last year. Smith and Romero, man, I mean, 
They're like America's wrestlers. They're the kind of guys that you like to see get out there and scrap because they're always moving forward. They're just tough, and um, it's, uh, Tom's glad to have them on their team because they're both great leaders. Smith here at 174, Romero at 184 coming up. Yeah, we will certainly see Kelly Romero coming up next. But right now, it is a one-point lead for Ethan Smith, ranked number eight in the country, taking on the number 18 rank, Donnell Washington from Portage, Indiana. Both men, NCAA national qualifiers. And we head towards the third period here at 174. A one-point edge for Ethan Smith against Donnell Washington. But riding time is in favor of Ethan Smith, so DJ Washington needs a big third period. Red, stay set. Green, cover legal. Has Angel Escobedo sat down? Maybe he sat down for 20 seconds, but he has been on his feet throughout the entirety of this time to throw the brick. That was it, where he sat. Neutral. So increasing his lead is Ethan Smith. Four to two the lead, but riding time also in favor of the Buckeye. Smith is steady. He, he, he moves forward. When he gets in on a leg, he usually doesn't finish very quickly. Uh, Washington, different. Uh, Washington, explosive. Now, in the third period, you've got to be able to have that explosion, effective, good technique, and we'll see if Washington has it, because when he explodes, he is successful. And he's so athletic, DJ Washington. He has great length, and that is... And another, they were talking about it, hoping that they were able to remain in bounds, but no. As we look at it. Out of the grip, gentlemen, out of the grip. Four to two, the lead. We are coming up on the 62nd mark between Ethan Smith and Donnell Washington. There's Smith in on that leg again. He's very methodical. He knows right where he is. Yeah, he gets a cut. He cuts across and gets a two. Maybe enough to seal the deal right here. He's got Washington stretched out, not in a good position. And here, nice job of Washington coming around. Wow, look at that. Smith did not cover the ups and then Washington in again, driving through. Can Donnell Washington get the two? Can he get it? Nice job by uh, Smith okay. to get his uh, um, belt buckle to the mat. His hips were able to get around so that Washington wasn't able to finish that. Nice job on a reversal here by set, Red. Washington. Set, Red. He lets him go, drive straight in here. No, he did not escape. Oh, no change. He said no escape. No okay, Stay so set. you got to know how to break that guy, push right him away, and he's going to do that right now. Well, you would think Neutral. after Ethan Smith, it's a 7-2-4 lead with Riding time secure, DJ Washington's got to go now at a two points for Ethan Smith. That might have solidified the deal. Yeah, very nice uh, uh, strategic wrestling by Smith. Kept really good position, underhook, threw him by for the two points, sealed the deal. A hard-fought match between two top 20 174-pounders. Ethan Smith gets the win over... Donnell Washington, his 90th career win as a member of the Buckeyes. As Ethan Smith tops Donnell Washington. So Ohio State continues to increase their lead. Now we focus in on 184, the All-American Caleb Romero. 12 and 2 is record this season. Taking on the junior out of Gallatin, Missouri, Trayton Harris. Yeah, I love Caleb Romero. He's a kind of guy. He's a contender there. He drops right in, drives through for the takedown. But he's a guy that's, uh, you know, Tom expects to be in those semifinals in the NCAAs and, and contend in there for a uh, very high place. And, you know, it's not for lack of effort, work. He's been a leader. You know, he's just plain tough. He was an option quarterback in high school and led his team to their first state title ever in Mechanicsburg, Ohio. You just like the grit of this guy. Already off to a 4-1 to lead over Drayton Harris, a four-time Ohio State champion, 
in high school out of Mechanicsburg, Ohio, as you pointed out, TJ. NCAA qualifier the past three seasons. Finished fourth in the Big Ten Championships in 2020. And back to action we go. Four to one advantage. Caleb Merrick, number five in the country. Looking at increase to his lead, and he does so. Six to two, the lead over Drayton Harris. Yeah, he's come out and he's really controlled the pace. He's been hard on the head. Uh, Harris had a nice idea there with a the little duck, but uh, he was met by the underhook defense of Romero. Just, you know, cooking on all eight cylinders right now. So Romero has got that underhook there. He's behind the line, hands in front. Right there, that caused him to stop uh, Harris and then come around for the two points. Tom Ryan told us that he feels if Caleb Romero is wrestling at his best, that he could contend for a national championship. You just aren't going to have an easy match against Romero. He's always going to be in there, and you know it could come down to, you know, overtime matches. If you're in an overtime match with Romero, hey, you got a problem. And he's the kind of guy that isn't afraid to, you know, go nine, ten minutes. And uh, right now, he's uh, really having his way. Eight to three, the lead as he is building up on the riding time, coming close to a minute already in the first period. You got to be thinking of your Caleb Romero. He's already the mindset bonus points from the outset of this match. Green, stay set. Red. Tom Ryan, the distinguished head coach of the Buckeyes, watching his team on top. 20 to 6 over the Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana undefeated in dual meets this season with four wins, already eclipsing their three win mark from last season. As we begin Big Ten Conference action, Romero takes the bat and adds to his point total. Already gets in double digits, barely the first period. Yeah, Romero pulling on the pulling on the head, then going for that opposite angle, then coming back with the uh, underhook and almost uh, putting Harris in danger. Harris did a nice job of getting to his base and not letting uh, Romero have any more than the two-point takedown. Trayton Harris, 16 matches this season. He's won two of his last three. Of his 11 alls, his six of those have come by decision. So he has been known to show some fight as Drayton Harris. Up green. But escape. right now he's dealing with one of the best wrestlers in the country at 184 in Caleb Romero. It's crazy to think, Tim, you know, next year we will not see the likes of Caleb Romero at 184. Two more points there for Romero. Break. Green, you're down. Yeah, what Tom Ryan's got going on is he's one of those programs that, uh, you know, is is just re will just reload. And uh, they got such a great recruiting class, and uh, the room is so tough, and, and, and it'll, in a few years we'll be, you know, having forgot about Romero and Smith in this group because we'll, um, it, we'll see this other group that's come up because it seems like Romero and Smith have been around for years. Well, they have. And that's what will happen when these Three, redshirt the freshmen get into the lineup Three, next year for Ryan. And, you know, Second that's period. what Penn State, uh, you know, uh, Ohio double. State, uh, Iowa, uh, those are the, the programs that uh, they, they just reload. And all of a sudden, you got this new crop of, of studs that are around for years. Yeah, it's no such thing as rebuild, especially in the Big Ten Conference. It's about just reloading. That's exactly what happens. Right now, Caleb Romero continues to increase his riding time well over two minutes as he's on top of Drayton Harris, 12 to 5. Twist his head, twist his head towards you. Twist his head with your knee. Keep it legal. Caleb Romero won the Michigan State Open with the 4-0 record earlier in the season. Finished fourth at the Cliff Keen Invitational as well. So Romero's got the chin. He's got the chin, but he, but uh, uh, Harris was able to uh, collapse that uh, arm so that Romero's got to keep it legal. Oh, there he's got it. It's over. When you got the chin and the underhook right there, he can adjust. He's got all kinds of time. And the pin coming for Caleb Romero. That's the second pin of the night.
first for Sammy Sasso, and now for Kayla Romero. Six takedowns in the first period, and he gets the pin to finish the match in emphatic fashion. What a victory for Caleb Romero. Look at the look on Romero. It's all business for him. He's refining everything he's doing. He's looking for those little things. He was listening to the coaching of Ryan there as they were uh, getting uh, into position to turn and uh, just did a really nice job, Romero, continuing to uh, hone his skills in his sixth year on this team.